What's up, guys? Kyle here with No Tie Required. All right, we got some crypto action going on right now. Let's go. All right, guys. Yes, we are talking Filecoin, as you probably could tell by the uh, title of the video or the thumbnail. But anyway, before we jump into the video, make sure to smash up that like button. If you like what we're doing, you're going to love where we're going with this channel. So make sure you smash those likes. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications so that you get notified every single time that we drop a video, which is pretty much daily at this point. All right. Also, free cryptocurrency startup guide for anybody that is brand new. And I know there's a lot of you out there. We've all been there. We get it. This is what this channel is all about. Look, we're not trying to talk over your head. We're not trying to do anything like that. We're trying to simplify these projects as much as possible so that you can make informed decisions and figure out what is best for you and for your portfolio. So make sure you use that link in the description down below. Get your free crypto guide. With that being said, we're going to dive into my screen. We are talking some Filecoin. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Filecoin number 27 in terms of overall market cap, according to coinmarketcap.com, sitting just below 65 bucks right here on an absolute tear today. Look at that, almost 24% gains for anybody that is in Filecoin today. Congrats to you guys if you are in this project. It's a great project. I love it. Uh, we're going to talk about where you can get it here pretty soon, but I want to take a real quick look at the chart. We're going to go over the actual project and let you know why I believe this is one of the best projects going. I know I say that a lot. Guys, there are so many great projects out here, but I absolutely love what they have going on and what they are doing, and I can't wait to be able to talk about that. So uh, let's look at the chart real quick. When they had their ICO back in October, I mean, you can look at where it first started, the $29 price point right around in there, and absolutely skyrocketed all the way up to 69 bucks, almost 70 bucks. It's working its way back up there. You know, it went down as a lot of these projects do after they have their ICO. Uh, went down, kind of found a little channel of support down in there, and you know, kind of was running sideways there. A little bit, a little bit of downward action, but kind of running sideways really for a couple months. And then all of a sudden, February kicks in, like the first week of February. And it's just been up, up, up. There's a little tiny pullback right there, but the majority of it just continuously going up. So um, where does it stop? Hey, it's anyone's guess. I don't think it's stopping anytime soon. I'll just leave it at that. I don't think, you know, we're, we're nearing its previous all-time high. I think it's going to shoot way past that. Again, hey, anybody that's in it right now, you guys are enjoying some, you know, incredible, incredible gains. I love this project personally. I mean, it, it's been a... Uh, it's been a great project ever since it launched, and I think that this is a uh, huge winner during this this market for sure. Um, not professional financial advice, just my opinion, and we're going to take a look at where you can get Filecoin here very shortly. However, I just want to pull up their website real quick and just go over what this project is in a nutshell for you guys, and we'll get you out of here. Let's take a look at it. All right, perfect, guys. So as you can see, I mean, Filecoin has a lot of different use cases for it. We're going to focus on this one uh, under the storage aspect of things. If you want follow-up videos to this to talk about other things, we absolutely can do that. But we're just going to focus on storage right now. So use Filecoin to store and retrieve data. So as we kind of scroll down through, you can see all the different use cases that Filecoin can be used for. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, you start looking at some of this stuff and excuse me, you start to realize what this is. This is really cool stuff. Okay, so as you can probably guess, if you if you paid attention to the thumbnail for this video, there's a large trash can on there, and there are a couple of well-known logos, one being Google Drive, one being uh, Dropbox, that are being dropped into that garbage can. Okay, so you guessed it. They are going after um, cloud storage. Okay, and, and that is not a knock against either one of those. I mean, I love Google Drive. I use Google Drive every day. This video that you're watching is probably being rendered and then uploaded into Google Drive to store it on there. So I don't have to store it on my computer and take up a bunch of space okay that's the whole point of it though cloud storage changed the game when it was introduced however many years ago at this point i mean it seems like it was just yesterday but it was probably who knows probably 10 years ago at this point close to it i don't know fact check me on that and let me know maybe i'm maybe i'm way off on it but it seems like probably about 10 years ago or so when it was introduced it changed the game and it continues to and it just gets bigger and better the problem with it is the supply and demand aspect of it, it, it there's, there's an off balance on that, okay? In terms of overall demand, and I want to show you guys this, so it's all the way down at the bottom of it right here. The overall demand for this is, I mean, uber high. $75 billion market size for cloud storage in 2021, okay? Um, Filecoin looking to kind of disrupt that, in, uh, uh, that industry. Sorry, I almost said injury. I don't know why. 
Filecoin looking to disrupt that industry, okay? The reason for that is it's a huge market, but there's only so many, there's only a very finite amount of suppliers for that market. So what happens? Basic economics. They're going to be able to charge more, okay? They don't have a lot of competition. There's not a lot of people offering that. And they have a huge, huge audience for their services. What do you think they're going to do? Well, they're going to charge a premium for that storage because they know that they can enter something like Filecoin, okay? They decentralize the entire thing, take it away from any type of corporate control. And they've got it somewhere up in here. Yeah, taking it away from corporate control and diversifying the places that you can go and get your cloud storage okay so let's take a look at this right here supply and demand not corporate pricing departments okay so their whole goal is create a hyper competitive marketplace for storage okay drive that price down okay make it better for the consumers we're the ones that are using the product yes it's their product but we're using the product we don't want to spend an arm and a leg for that okay so filecoin reducing the barriers to entry for storage providers turns cloud storage into a commodity, okay? This allows new entrants to easily compete with entrenched players. Essentially, it makes it so just about anybody could, uh, you know, be able to monetize their cloud storage if they want to. It's, it's, it's one of those things where it doesn't just, you don't have to just rely on Google Drive. You don't just have to rely on OneDrive from Microsoft or Dropbox or all of these different services that are out there. Storage providers compete vigorously for your business to store your data and provide flexible options at the best prices, all done in one transparent global marketplace. I mean, to me, super powerful. The use case for this is off the charts. It allows just about everybody to turn into their own cloud-based storage if they have the capacity to be able to do that. Um, it allows new entrants into that market, and then it really helps the consumers themselves because, look, people are going to still continue to need cloud-based storage. You know, again, it's a total game changer, and you know what, if you can get it as inexpensive as possible, that market is just going to continue to keep growing larger and larger and larger. Okay. So to me, phenomenal use case for this project. Uh, we just want to give you the, the nitty gritty, the, the really, really quick aspects of what are the most important things with this project. And then we're going to get you guys on your way. So the last thing I want to cover real quick, let's take a look at it is the markets that you can get this. Okay. Um, Actually, overall, not a hard project to get. Coinbase or Binance uh, would be where I would take a look at. And here's the thing. Guys, here's the thing I want to point out. Most projects that are on Coinbase, uh, you can rest assured if they're on Coinbase, it's a solid project. Okay, Coinbase is very selective about who they bring on their exchange. Typically, it's going to be a very, very solid project. They believe in it, and so do I. I love this project. I think, again, not professional financial advice, not telling you how you should invest in crypto. I believe this is a big winner, though. I don't think you can go wrong with Filecoin personally. I love this project. With that being said, guys, that's all I got. We'll see you in the next one.